Okay, so we're going to talk about TNT. So if you don't know, TNT is crafted with sand and gunpowder. You put them like this, and you get some TNT. So things have been changed, so you can't punch TNT anymore. You can blow it up with redstone. There we go. So I laid that into a block of stone that was three by three by three. And you'll see it went down a little bit more. So this is a three by three by four hole. And TNT is going to blow up different things uh, depending on the material. Here's another three by three uh, stone block. Oh, wait, where's my... The other way you can set, set this off is with flint and steel by setting it on fire. So you can see it takes a second or two before it actually sets off. And you'll see this is three blocks deep and there's a layer of dirt down there underneath. And that's pretty much all there is to TNT. Let's see what the difference is when you blow it up in the sand. So you can see it has a much bigger effect when you blow it up in the sand. So different blocks have different blast resistances and that'll affect how each blast goes off, how, how far it goes in each direction. Other than that, pretty much all of Ben's original video is still very accurate, like this that water will stop the blast from going out anywhere and you'll see nothing is damaged. When you blow up a larger section like this you'll see that not all of the blocks are still here. It, about 70% of the blocks will be destroyed. When you blow up a lar larger section like when you blow up a larger section like this, you'll see that not all of the blocks are still there. About 70% of the blocks will be destroyed and won't drop any items. So it's not really a great way to mine. Here we can take a look at blast resistance really quickly. Okay, so here I have a block of TNT. And on one side we have sand, the other dirt. And down here is stone and water. So let's see what's, what happens in each direction. So you see, down didn't really do anything. We lost about one layer of stone there, but all around the sides, it destroyed a whole lot more. So if you want to make your buildings TNT proof, obviously the best thing you can do is make is use obsidian. But there are other blocks that have higher blast resistances as well. So there's your primer on TNT. Experiment, see what you can do with it, and have fun.